Good morning, friends, and I hope you're well. Who are the people you want to be around? Who are the people you want to have in your life? Who are the people you want to listen to? I want to talk with you this morning from Luke chapter 2 about Simeon. Simeon is a remarkable man, one we need to know more about. When Jesus is eight days old, his parents, Mary and Joseph, bring him into the temple. And there, Simeon comes forth. Luke chapter 2, it says that Simeon was righteous and devout, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit he would not die before he saw the Messiah. And so he comes by the Holy Spirit into the temple. There's a big lesson. We need people in our lives who listen to the Holy Spirit, who know the Holy Spirit, and who are led by the Holy Spirit. If you think about it, some of the media people, some of the news sources, some of the people in our lives may not be spirit-led people. Remember the book of Proverbs says that the companion of fools suffers harm. But when Jesus is brought into the temple, he's going to be attested to by two wonderful people. Anna, we'll meet Lord willing in a few days, and Simeon. Simeon is filled with the Spirit. There's a second thing about Simeon. He cares about salvation. He says, now, Lord, you can let your servant depart in peace because my eyes have seen your salvation. He knows he needs salvation. Israel needs salvation. They've done things, and they're in a condition where salvation is needed. People are filled with the Spirit who care about salvation are crucial to have around. They're people worth listening to. Here's a third thing. Simeon knows God's plan. He knows God's plan. In fact, he says when he, when he takes Jesus into his arms that this child will be a light of revelation for the Gentiles. He's quoting from Isaiah 42, verse 6 and 49, verse 6. That will be quoted again in Acts chapter 13 and Acts chapter 26. It's a crucial verse. God's plan is bigger than Israel. God's plan reaches to Gentiles, to Greece, to Rome, to Norway, to Germany, to Canada, to Florida, to California. God's plan is bigger than Israel. And he sees in the baby God's plan. The Holy Spirit's upon him. He cares about salvation. He knows God's plan. And the fourth thing, he knows the scriptures. I just mentioned he's quoting from Isaiah. Isaiah has been called the fifth gospel. Isaiah teaches us so much about Christ. The Davidic line, the virgin birth, the atoning death, the resurrection, the coming of John the Baptist, Jesus' message of good news. Isaiah was in the bloodstream of the early Christians. As one writer says, they seem to have swallowed it whole. The more we know about Isaiah, the more we know about the Lord. By the way, there is only one passage of scripture quoted in Matthew and Mark and Luke and John and Acts from the Old Testament. Guess what? It's from Isaiah chapter 6. Simeon's the kind of person that you want to listen to. He's one of the best in Israel. When he talks about Christ, Luke says to Theopolis, he's worth listening to. He's the kind of person we want to find in our lives, people who have the Holy Spirit, who know the plan of God, who care about salvation, and have even dipped into the great book of Isaiah. Hope you're well. Keep me in your prayers. Prayer for me to continue to gain some weight and strength, and I look forward to seeing you in about a week and a half now. Seek first the kingdom of God. Pray for our beloved North Modesto Church of God. Read your Bible every day. Seek to bring people to the kingdom. And let's keep our eyes open for the work the Holy Spirit is going to do in our midst. God bless you today.